Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Well this video is about a dash cam video footage release that shows Minnesota cops brutal attack on an Asian driver. That's right, the race soldiers are always on code. It's not primarily black people. There are others that they do attack. Uh, but we know predominantly most all of their attacks have been done on black people. You'll get white people come along, these racists and these idiots who come along and they parakeet like a little bird how white people are uh, the victims of police brutality much more than black people. But then when you ask them for proof of it, video footage of it or whatnot, they, well, they can only show you maybe one. They can't really get into any facts or showing you anything substantial. We have video footage after video footage after video footage. But in this case, this was um, dash cam video footage released on Thursday by the American Civil Liber Liberties Union that shows a Minnesota police violently arresting a 22-year-old Asian man after a traffic stop last year. Now, based on the victim's last name, Provanska, um, it's spelled P-R-O-M-V-O-N-G-S-A. That sounds Filipino, um, but nonetheless, he is of an Asian descent. In the video from July 28, 2016, an officer, uh, the ACLU, identified as Buffalo Ridge Drug Task Force Agent Joe Joswiak, J-O-S-W-I-A-K, approaches Anthony Provanska's vehicle with his weapon drawn. Let's take a look at the video. Okay, that's the vehicle. The guy pulls over right away. And here's where the savagery starts. The uncivilized behavior. Here's where the savagery is right here. And they do this all the time. But we have video footage. Savage beast. And of course, that's from that little guy. That's what he caused that savage beast to treat him like that. You can hear him say, You guys are wrong, man. He's saying that about the police officer's actions, the victim in the back of the car. 
You can hear him breathing hard. And there you have it. I'm not going to speak much on this. Um, the Asian community didn't speak much on the killing of the black man where Peter Liang got off for murder. In fact, they supported Peter Liang. And from that point on, I have not supported anything um, as I possibly can anyways. As I've said in other videos, um, most products are made in China. So, of course, you can't help but to buy Chinese products here in America well America we import a lot of their products so it is our fault but anyways um, I'm not gonna say much more on this video I'll just leave the video footage if you want to check out the rest of the story um, there is a lot more to it as a matter of fact you know how the police are they get into that that uh, long drawn-out story that they always tell how well public you really need to see what happened before and everything apparently this Asian driver had come across a car who had um, undercover police officer in it and the Asian driver was uh, supposedly allegedly uh, driving a little erratic and cut him off and then was saying little verbal things to him making hand gestures at him and you know stuff like that apparently you know he he was annoyed at this driver and, and he came up across a uh, undercover cop and didn't know it but anyways um, apparently the cop undercover cop called in his friends and then they came along and brutally savagely brutally attacked him um, after they pulled him over as you saw in the video footage but again they they asked for your patience and you shouldn't just judge just what you saw blah 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 you see his savage behavior it's plain as day, but well, you shouldn't judge. Blah blah blah. Uh, is there's nothing to it that you you can you can't excuse his savage behavior. This police officer that was uncalled for. He did not have to do that. Uh, there are ways of how you arrest people. They have protocols, and that's not one of them. That police officer should be fired. And then later on, if if you notice in the in the in this same video footage, if you look at it again, as he's beating him, you see he has that you see he has that police shirt on, right? Well, after the incident, he takes that police shirt off. I don't know if you caught that, but I sure did. Just rewatch it, and you'll see for yourself. He takes his police shirt off. Why did he do that? Because he's trying to cover up his savage actions as a police officer. That's why. He doesn't want you to, well, judge them based on him having his police shirt on. Yeah, so he took it off. It was plain as day. He can't hide that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace and love to you and yours. Until the next video, take care of yourself.